Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Rekakadash, double honors to apostles and elders at Green Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers out there, this priest is word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. The tabernacle of David, the hopeful elect, the speckled bird, one says Shalom. Let's get into it, so this is pretty much going to be a quick one. So, um, pretty much this Christian has a dream of the RFID microchip. And he knows that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. And, um, you know, it's a pretty interesting video. You know, I, um, you know, recommend for you brothers and few sisters to go out there and you know, and watch this video, you know, it has a little meat in it, you know, take the little meat out of it and, um, throw away the bones. Cause, um, you know, the Lord, the Lord can give you dreams and you still not be in the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, we're clearly living in those times where the Lord is pouring out his spirit upon his people. All right. Through all nations. You know, his own people and even even the heathens. So, um, you know, it's nothing um, to make you feel super, super special if you get a prophetic, prophetic dream, you know, because this is just the Lord's plan. OK. But, um, you know, he uses these dreams. He gives people these dreams to tell them uh, uh, to show them what's to come. Okay, uh, uh, the difference here, we're able to um, interpret the dreams and understand what's, com what's coming to pass. And um, for this brother's dream, you know, like I said, he had the dream of the RFID microchip being the mark of the beast. And he knows that the mark, mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. But you other camps out there. All right, you you preaching against that? <laughs> Comes to mind is June, ain't no Michael Chips. <laughs> you guys know who you are. It's teaching that the mark of the beast is not the RFID Michael Chip. Okay, you guys know who you are, but us over here, we we clearly know what the mark of the beast is, and if you take that. Take that uh, uh, RFID Michael Chip. Hey, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. That's your ass, man. You can go to the... Um, give me one second. It's about 509-ish. One second. I'm trying to turn it to it for y'all. It's about 509. Yep. And you can clearly see that he knows... Once again, clearly see that he knows that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, you know, and no man may buy or sell, at least he have, uh, uh, the, you know, the mark of the beast, you know, I'm paraphrasing it, I may get that, you know, it's Revelation 13, okay, but hey, you know, you, you other camps, you clearly do not do not have the truth. The Lord is clearly not working through y'all. If you're preaching against this, because we can clearly see that Esau East Edom system is moving to um, the digital currency. You know, I went to um, Hobby Lobby earlier today, get some more supplies, because you know me, I'm an artist. I do, do my thing. <laughs> But anyways, I got to, you know, went up to the register and um, they had like um, the coin shortage. And you can clearly see that this man is gearing up for the mark of the beast for everybody to be chipped. Okay. But um, that's enough talking. Like I said, um, it's a great video to watch. You know, once again, he's a Christian, so. Near the end, he's going to talk about his Christian rhetoric. 
Okay, but us in the truth, we understand we got to follow the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability. Pray to the Lord. You know, if you're a man, call to preach. Go out there to the highways and byways and preach his word. And um, Lord, when we endure to the end, pray that the Lord don't take that uh, uh, spirit off you. Anyways, let's get some scriptures. All right. Let's go to Revelation 13. Let's go ahead and just get to the point. Revelation 13 and 16, and it causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay. And this man saw this and this man understands this. <laughs> hey, some of these Christians are on a higher level than you brothers, you know, so-called in the truth, thinking that thinking that y'all in the truth. Y'all don't even know that the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip, man. You can't even see that this world is going to a digital currency and that you can't buy or sell without that chip. Okay? That's over here. We're we going to trust in Yahweh by Shem outside. And he's going to take care of us. He calls us all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So... No matter what class you are, rich or poor, okay? Hey, this, this thing is for to track you. you pretty much uh, being made a slave. And that no man might buy or sell save he that heart had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it's the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. 666. You know, uh, Elder Apostle Gabar was going into uh, uh, the numbers. Okay? How we remember things in three. In threes. You know, we're just programmed to remember that. And it's beautiful because you have 666. Okay? You have Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, uh, when the Lord was talking to Peter, you know, I know this is on the side note, but when the word, uh, when the Lord, Yahweh Shai was talking to Peter, he told him, feed him, sh feed, feed my sheep. He told him about three times, you know? So it's pretty much completion. All right. But yeah, anyways, yeah, you, you cannot buy or sell if you if you um don't have this mark, okay. You know, may come to a point where brothers are gonna have to be out in the wilderness. And it's all good, man. You know, it's all good. Cause when you trust in the Lord, you how about some outside, we understand that he got something back. Let's go to Revelation three. Let's go to that. So I can pass it up. Revelation 3, 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. What's the hour of temptation? That's that mark of the beast. Okay? That's why we, we keeping the patience now. That's why we waiting upon the Lord now. That's why we out there on the highways and byways preaching his word. Okay, so we can keep us in those hours. You know, it's also beautiful in that uh, uh, video, you know, because he understood, he understands that we're in the last seconds of the last days. Okay, but our, our, our people as a whole, the two thirds, they don't have the eyes to see that, you know, they're too busy asking for breadcrumbs from the so called white man. Okay. Behold, I come quickly, quickly, hold fast, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take that crown. So no matter what, man, this is a this is a race that you gotta endure, okay? This is a a, a not a race to see who who can finish the fastest, but a race to see who, who can endure the longest. Okay, who can endure to the end until Yahweh Shai 
comes back and cracks that sky and take this man's kingdom down because that's what we're waiting for, man. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in my temple and my power and he shall go no more out. Okay, you're going to have the law, statutes, and commandments written in you, man. You're not going to fall off anymore because sin is our kryptonite. And this is what we're waiting for, the kingdom of heaven. I will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven for my power. And I'll write upon him my new name. Okay. Let's go to Revelation 2 and uh, 11. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh, you see, got to overcome. Shall not be hurt of the second death. And what's the second death? A thermal nuclear fire from ICBM missiles. Okay. And everybody that takes that chip, hey, that's your ass, man. Matter of fact, um, Revelation 14 9. Okay. And the third angel followed them, saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand. Okay. Um, you know, it reminds me of when Elon Musk pretty much um, had a post about him making uh, uh, microchips to be implanted in, into people's heads. You know, pretty much work wonders. You know, say that you're a paraplegic. You put that chip in your head, in your brain. Can make you walk again. You know, power on the left hand side. But us over here, man, like I said, we, we going to wait upon the Lord. Okay. What's going to happen if you take that mark of the beast? Verse 10, the same shall drink. Of the wine of the wrath of power, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Okay? So that nuclear missile, you're going to feel every bit of that, man. And also the angels and Yahweh Shah is coming back and people's going to be fried up by them as well. You know? The UFOs, that's what they call them. The IFOs, that's what they really are. The identified. <laughs> All right, we, we know what they are. But yeah, people's going to be taken out by them as well. Okay. Let's go to um, Revelation 14 and 4. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. Okay. Now you have a bug out Christian or somebody that's not in truth and think that the 144,000 and the elect are actual virgins. But this virgins here is not being polluted by this world. Okay. Being uh, transformed with the renewing of your mind. You know, Romans 12. Okay. You get renewed when you come into this truth. And those, uh, um, you know, not to be being defiled with women is these uh, philosophies, Christianity, Islam, calling yourself black. You know, if you're in this truth, you're not going to call yourself black. You're going to be transformed. You're going to understand that you're, you're an Israelite from your respective tribes. Okay, and go follow your house side. Well, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's go ahead and read it. These are wit. The Slakia, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb, whatsoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto power and to the Lamb. Okay? That's what we want, man. That's what we want. I'm going to read verse 5. And in their mouth was found no gal. For they were without fault before the throne of power. Okay? That's what we want, man. You know, to be exempt from our sins. Because we understand 
that we sin against our power. We understand that we're in this predicament. The so-called white man, the base man is over us because we sin against our power. But uh, uh, you got these two thirds. You know, they they don't care y'all about y'all about Shema outside. OK, I, I have a friend. You know, he, he knows about the truth. You know, I told him about uh, cutting them dreads off. And uh, uh, you look at pictures now, he, he still got them dreads on, man. You know? And the Lord can destroy you for having dreads in your head. Because that's a, that's a commandment for us not to have dreads in our head. You know? Hey, you know, I'm trying to work out my salvation with, you know, fear and trembling. I fear the Lord, so I ain't trying to <laughs> get jacked up, man. You know, I pray that the Lord keep that spirit upon me and, and I endure to the end, man. You know, I got to warn my brother, like, hey, get them dreads out of your head, brother. That's not of our culture. You know? So it remains to be seen if he takes them out or not. You know, it is what it is. You know, me and my household, hey, we we going to follow you out by outside to the end, Lord willing, you know. But yeah, man, that's that's pretty much it. Us over here, we can clearly see that the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. So, OK, as you see here, he, he knows what's up. His brother knows what's up. It's just you other camps out there, y'all y'all don't know what's up, man. You know? His ways, um, I'm gonna get that. And then I'm gonna close out. Okay. Get Cyrek. Ecclesiasticus. Uh yep. Cyrac or Ecclesiasticus 39 and 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. Okay? His truth is plain unto the holy. The RFID microchip is plain unto the holy. Okay? Getting dreads out of your head is plain unto the holy. Okay? Following Yahweh Shai. And enduring to the end is playing into the holy. So that's pretty much it. We we once again we know what the RFID microchip is, and we know not to take it. If you take it, that's your ass, man. Until next time, Lord willing, shalom.